Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Brian here. Today's video, we're actually going to be checking the belt tension. Now this is something that's kind of routine maintenance and it should actually be done every 4,000 miles or about every 6 months. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Now one of the things that you're going to need to make this job a lot easier is a belt tension gauge. Now it's not absolutely necessary, but like I said, it will make the job easier. Now the one that we've got today is actually preset for 10 pounds of pressure, which is what the manual calls for when checking the tension of the belt. It's got a little o-ring here and a line that's set for 10 pounds, and when you put that o-ring there, you press it, and when it hits that o-ring, that's where your 10 pounds of pressure is. So we're going to use this to go ahead and check the tension of the belt. Let's go ahead and go out there and get to it. Working from the left side of the bike today, the side that the belt is on. And if you look from the factory, they actually gave you a little window that you can gauge how far that belt is moving as you're doing the tension test. Now it's got markings on it for 5, 10, 15 millimeter so that you can kind of see exactly how far that belt is moving as you're putting the tension to it. Now we're going to start with the air check for the wheel in the 6 o'clock position fully down and we're going to measure it four different times as that wheel goes around so that we can see the difference in the belt tension because it's not the same all the way around. So like I said, we're going to start in the 6 o'clock position and we're going to go ahead and check the tension there first. Now we can see that when we put the gauge up to the belt without pressing on it at all, that we fall in between the first and the second notch there. Now each of these notches indicate 5 millimeters of play in that drive belt. Now the spec says that you should be between 6 to 8 millimeters, but I like to run it just a little bit loose, so I like to run right at about 10. So we're going to go ahead and give it the 10 pounds of pressure on that belt and see where we go ahead and land on that indicator. Now we can see that we land right kind of in between the third and the fourth notch there. And that's going to indicate right at about 10 millimeters of play. Now we're going to go ahead and test this three other times, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, now that we got the valve stem in the 9 o'clock position, we're going to go ahead and test it again. Go ahead and put that gauge inside there, and we can see that we fall right about the same spot as the first one, right in between the first and the second line. So we'll go ahead and put that 10 pounds of pressure on there. We're going to see that we're actually just a little bit higher than we were on that first one. We're actually running a little bit closer to that fourth line there, which is going to indicate that we've got probably closer to about 13 millimeters of play. Let's go ahead and rotate it to the 12 o'clock position on that valve stem and try it again. All right. Now for the 12 o'clock position, we'll go ahead and put that gauge in. And we see that we're actually running just right above that first line on that. So we'll go ahead and give it that 10 pounds of pressure. And we'll see that we're actually running, looks like right at about 13 millimeters of play. All right, let's go ahead and move it to the three o'clock position and try one more time. All right, so here we are at the three o'clock position. We'll go ahead and stick that gauge on there again. And we'll see that we are uh, we're right about the middle of the first and second line there. So let's go ahead and add that pressure to it. it looks like we've got right at about 10 millimeters of play on that one also. Hey guys, I appreciate you tuning in and I hope this video really helped out. If it did, be sure to like and share it. You'll also want to subscribe and hit that bell so that you get access to future videos as soon as they come out. Here in the coming weeks, I'll be doing an actual adjustment of the belt to kind of show you guys how to get that one down as well. Other than that guys, we'll see you next time.